Good evening. Hey, Cabo. Hey, Cabo. Hey, Cabo. How are you? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, 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 everyone. Greetings. Welcome to the first uh, blog talk radio, Ishoro Aru, with our host, Oluwo Okumbayo, who is senior priest uh, and founder of Ile Isin, Abalai Nifa Cultural Training Institute. We welcome him. We are grateful um, that we are doing the show um, tonight. Yes, and his producer and senior student, Baba Ifa Korede. So this evening, I would like to go ahead and introduce Baba so that he can get started. And then, Baba Fakore Day, you are going to facilitate this evening, correct? That is correct. Okay, and this evening's topic is uh, Internet IFA, IFA and the Internet. So without going on any more, we would like to welcome Oluwo Ogumbayo. Are you there, sir? Ben, you are welcome. Hello. Aboruboye. I Welcome. This is your show, sir. Isaro Please get us started. I greet everybody today. And then I will take this moment to thank Oludu Mari, first of all. And then to thank all the listeners out there. Include my Omo, the producer for today is Baba Ifa Kouridi, and there is Awo Ifa also, you know, a uh, student in training to be uh, Baba Lago. And then I also have Yao Mitayo, you must be a priest. He is a senior priest in the Lewis in Abala Inifa Cultural Training Institute. And then... The beginning of this show, the reason why we're putting the show together today is because of the uh, information that we're getting from the outside. And then for the request set of my brother and sister. But I, as you know, me, that before I start anything, I will do it, Juba, first of all. I say. Hey, oh, so, if you have a music playing, I don't hear the music. Are you guys hear the music? No, it's not, Papa. No, sir. Yeah, Mikhail? No, sir. Ah, okay. So, for my brother and sister, I say, about I say, by you. I say, for them, I say, 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 I said, you know, according to we are the of And then I also want to give the Juba and thanks and uh, acknowledgement and honor to all my elders from I home I that they first been here before me, Ulu you know, from Baba Wa, we said. From Baba Wa Elebu, to Yapama, and to Yolomi Dudu, and all my brothers and sisters that was here before me as a priest and priestess that I don't even met yet in the United States. Plus, I would like to give a good acknowledgement to all my brothers and sisters in America here. All my brothers and sisters, black American, that was here before me also, practicing the religion, trying their best. Just to be doing the tradition, you know. Uh, all the Baba Allah who have been here, my brother and sister in American, I give it back to you guys. And then all the apostles, all the priests, priests. So I give it back to you guys also. Mujiba, 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 and I give it back to all our ancestors in the United States, even though back home. So, and then the beginning of today's show um, is about to talk about the um, IFA on the internet. So that's the beginning of, that's the title of today's show. 
Ashe. Ashe. Oh, sir, we give praise and we give thanks and honor to Allah the Made Baba for having you here. And I just want to let all the listeners know that our number is 646-381-4664. And when you call in, what you want to do, protocol is to greet Baba Oluwo with um, Abaru Abaye. That is the proper protocol and respect. And I ask that all listeners um, comply. And Baba, I guess we can start the show. Our topic today is EFI and the Internet. We are thankful to have you here on your first show and exciting, Baba. And Baba, can you explain to us regarding EFI and the Internet from your standpoint? The EFI on the Internet? Yes, sir. Um, the reason why we put today's show together, EFI on the Internet. Because a couple of people come to me, they came to me. And then what they always tell me that they know, you know, Baba, I know my Ifa. Baba, I learn about Ifa. I learn about this Odu. I learn about that Odu. And then I always ask them that, oh, because you think you're on the Internet, that means you know everything on the Internet. You know? I'm just trying to put this together for my brother and sister out there because the way they practice in Ifa in the United States is different from Ben, home. Sir. ben. You know? Then. You cannot go to internet right now and search Ifa when you put Ifa on the internet. Then. Thinking that you know everything. No. Ifa then. is not like uh like uh you know, name name brand, like a name brand or something. Then. If someone wants to find out about Mazda or you want to find out about Mercedes Benz or you want to find out about Toyota car. It's easy to go to internet and then you will find all the details about the app. Ifa is ben. not like that. Ben, you right. know? And then I'm doing this show today too in order for my brother and sister out there just to know before they run into what is not. Because ben. there's a lot of people on the internet right now, they're just doing they just doing what they're doing. You know, what they love to do. Because some people don't even care about to see the clients before they start working for the clients. If ben. you feel close, you know, ben, so that's the reason why we're putting this together that if I on the internet, do the searching on if I on the internet, that doesn't mean you know everything. Then, sir. Ben. Ben. You teach us at um, the Training Institute that we always have to come close and that we have to learn the culture and learn the destiny of the things that are used in the culture. How, um, is, how is, does it hurt us when we look online because many of us don't have um, ELAs that are close to us and the Internet is all we have. When we get the information, what what is the information good for? What can we do with it and what can't we do with it? One thing about information on the Internet is like um, it's, it's dangerous sometimes. It's not even okay. sometimes, all the time. Okay. If you don't know what you're getting, what they're giving you on the Internet, you know. A lot of yeah. people, I, I hear a lot of stuff, man, and then I see a lot of things that people pay a lot of money. They will call home. Some people will just even call home and call any I will get connecting from the internet. And then the will they will say send us money. Immediately they send the money, they give them the information. The information sometimes may not be hundred percent you know, they might give you from the A and then in the middle of the letter they might be shutting it out. Because mm. sometimes they don't want you to hurt them yourself. Yeah. And yeah. plus sometimes they give you everything. Imagine you was talking about the Odu that you don't even know what energy it brought it brings to. Ben. You know? That's ben. very delicate for people to ben. go to the internet and start searching for this ambitious of people. You know, greatness of like American kind of way like I got my money, I should get that. Can you give ben. me this because I'm gonna pay you, Baba? Can you ben. give me that? Do you think you are in the cap you know, in the position to have that yet? No. Ben. Because if you have that information only you can do to you is to hurt. It's not going to, you can't use it for anything because you don't know the value of that incantation or value of the essence that they're giving to you. 
you don't know the meaning because each word in the cipher it has its own story. Each word. So it's so dangerous to excuse me, yeah, Baba. It's okay. so dangerous for people going to internet and thinking they have all the information or they're trying to collect because a lot of people collect too much things. They just go to internet and collect things. Something that they don't even know how good it is or how bad it is. Damn it. Damn it, sir. No, I, I do agree with you, sir, because there's a substantial amount of information on the Internet. And what people don't understand, the information that is on the Internet, sometimes you have to read if you can even use that. You may have the authorization to even say certain specific chants because in saying certain specific chants, you might do more harm than yourself to yourself and hurt others. Would you agree with that, Baba? Danny. Danny, sir. And if I may ask you, Baba, how should an Ifa priest coming home from, from home, being initiated into Ifa, again, approach starting studying Ifa? I mean, I mean, the protocol from my understanding is that you should be working diligently with an Oluwo, with your teacher, and you should be studying step by step. You should not be coming home and starting your own practice or getting your own Eli. What would you have to say okay. regarding that, Baba? Uh, you know, what we have to say about that is like there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. They have that, like I was saying before. They will go home and initiate. And then Yoruba religion, in Ifa religion, initiation is like a step. You know, after yeah. initiation, in order, let me break it down. Because when people initiate to Ifa, that doesn't mean you become a Baba Lawo. Let's talk, let's face the reality. Yeah, you know, there's yeah, a yeah. journey to being an Awo. You know, we can call you Awo Ifa when you have your Ifa, and when you initiation, when you get your initiation, we call you Awo Ifa, not Baba Lawo. You know? You still yeah. have to go to join. Let's say you got money to initiate, fine. But if you haven't have the money to initiate, you have to fall in love with Ifa before your initiation at all. You yeah. know, there's a different kind of initiation. There is a different kind of condition of initiate. Some people initiate because of what is going on in their life. Some people, yeah. Ifa call them to come and initiate. And then immediately that Ifa call them to initiate, sometimes Ifa may not even go to them for like a year, two years. If they come from the lineage of Ifa and then Ifa is, is, is dancing around that person, that Ifa needs that person to use yeah. them to save the war. And then he's going to be dancing around them for like maybe two years, three years before you know. Things are starting going the way it's not supposed to be. And then you're going to go and do another checking or divination. And they're going to tell you that Ifa needs you. You have to stop what you are doing and focus with Ifa and study with Ifa. Damn, Ifa. You know? But some people born in this relationship in this family that when their father doing it they listen they see their father and then yeah. back home too when you going with your father or your uncle or your uluwo little by little you might be spending maybe 10 years you haven't even initiated yet but yeah. all these people that i'm talking about they already know how they do they can do aruba the only thing they cannot do they can't take people to Igodu at that time because they haven't initiated yet so when people go home, come back here thinking that they're babala, they're just lying to themselves because there's a lot of something be behind that, a lot of something behind it. Because let's say you initiate to, to Ifa right now. Yeah, Mita, are you listening? You hearing me, everybody? Ben, sir. Ben. <laughs> let's I'm say you initiate to Ifa, ben. and then you come back here. You should keep your connection, your relationship with your Ulu with your Ujubana, with all your people that was there during that time, Man. you know, if it's possible. The one that your Ulu will tell you to keep in touch with, you to keep in touch with them. If you know you want to further your education, your learning about Ifa. Because Man. after that, when you want to do, there's a different ceremony. After your initiation, it will be your doom, uh, another three, after three years, you have to go back home. And after you finish that three years that you have to go back home, if you want to train it, they will do another ceremony for you to be an yeah. hour, another yeah. for you to sit in front of Okonfa, 
Not everybody can just sit in front of us and do a robot for people. You mm-hmm. have to. They have to do a couple of spiritual work for you in Ifa shrine first. Man, man, you know? man, man. No, I do understand that, Baba, because I, like, as you have stated, there's many people they come back home and they get themselves in a lot of trouble by doing certain things. But everything is about protocol and everything is about ritual. And even when you come home, you know, from learning Yifan, there, there, you, when you're learning Yifan, sometimes I hear that, you know, you have to do certain ceremonies to, to, to be introduced into certain Odus. Would you Bene. speak about that, Baba? To introduce to the what? To the Odus. I, I hear that when people come home from, from Africa, the traditional way is that you study with your Lua. As you say, you should be close with your Ajibona. You should be close with your Lua. And in learning the Odus, learning Ifa, you have to sometimes go through certain ceremonies to complete your learning of that Odu. Then, in the, the different way they do it, uh, we call it Idawa Tepo. Uh, putting your hand on the open ifa, that's another ceremony. It's different from a dash at that point. It's different from a sentai at all. Uh, you know, far away from each other very well. So, Man. but, you know, there's a lot of people here, they just, they want to do the way they want to do it. And then that's why my, you know, my Ile are putting a lot of things together. We are putting a lot of things together now, like uh, any kind of way of training. You Man. know? Man. Um, Man. And then I do pray that we have a lot of branch that we do it right. I pray for yeah. a lot of good branch that we have a good way of doing it because one tree cannot be a bush, you know? Okay. And then I'm not I'm not giving up on this. It's my destiny. If I choose me to do this, I'm doing it. By the name of Uludumari, and then I do know ain't nobody, 25 million palm hands cannot yeah. block Sean not to sign. You know, they cannot block a son not to sign, you know. Man, so, man. and then, hey, nobody can stop you for that, you know. You cannot go this way. You can't go that way. Man, so, but I am really always pray, too, for good people. And then I always pray that we have a good people. And then we have um, we have a good branch that it can be training people, that it can be teaching people, too. You know, man, that's man. why I open my house. I open my shrine for for male, and then for all the priests and not priestess to come Man. and train, to come and learn well. Man. You know? So because when we have multiple people that is doing it right, you know, we all going to be benefit from it. Man. You know, it's like an honor to our ancestor. It's like an answer to my brother and sister prayer because a lot of people sit in their shrine. I pray Man. so long. I'm I'm wondering who is going to be teaching not right. I have Man. a bunch of books. And then I can't even pronounce the words. Who's going to be Man. training us right? Man. And then this is like an answer to prayer of a couple of my brother and sister in the United States. And then we are here now. We open our house to teach right. And then to, you know, take our time to learn well. Because immediately people say it's too hard to learn well. Those people already block a chance for them to learn well. Man. Because what is the benefit of learn quick and now and is wrong and then learn so slow and get it right Man, you know sir. some people already do 10 years in training and they finally know that oh this is not good 10 years and then this is Yoruba how am I going to learn the language how long is it going to take me Man. you just have to forgive yourself and then Irumale will forgive you too and then go back to your basic and take one step at it, and then whatever step you take at that time, you know, is a strong step, you know? Man, man, yes, sir. Also, Epilay, sir, I, I understand in, in, in the tradition um, from where I was initiated at, the emphasis on developing a very close relationship with your shrines, and I see here in America that that's not done. As you said um, in some recent shows, a lot of people, they get their shrines, and they come back, home and they let their shrine just sit in one place and they don't pay homage to it as frequently as they should. I mean, understanding that what you should do is pray to your shrine every day at every moment, at every opportunity, because your shrine 
is a living being that's inside your house. I mean, when you live in your own house and you have your own shrine, it's just not you by yourself living in your own house, but it's your shrine. And your shrine is a functional, strong, vibrant entity that's inside your house that commands your attention and that commands your respect. And I see a lot of people, they don't go to their shrine and they don't pray. In our tradition, when we eat, we also give some food to our shrine. When we eat some food, we give a little to, to Ifa. We give a little to whatever Risha that we were initiated to. And again, that's the culture that helps us to develop a stronger link with our shrines. Can you speak on Could that, Could you Baba? speak on that, Olu, for us, please? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we, the episode today is a Ifa on Internet, you know? Yeah. But are we, are we talk about it? You know, the reason why we talk about it, if I is internet, we're still going to come back to that. But connection with your shrine is so important. You can earn your share from there too, Man. you know. Man, yes, Some people think like, okay, Baba, make me this medicine. Baba, I cannot have this medicine. I want to have this. Uh-uh. You can earn your share from your ancestor. You earn your share from your shrine. And then you do earn your share. Also, is everybody there? Ben, ben. Yes, sir. Okay, and then you earn your ashe by give, giving a connect, you know, connective energy to your shrine. Ben. You know, that's how you earn your ashe. And then people come home, they put their shrine somewhere, and then ben. you eat your breakfast in the house. You come from work, let's say you go to work and you come back like the evening and you eat your dinner in the house. You don't ben. even even think about. Ah, you know, even though when you put cat or dog in your house, you will know you have to feed it. Talk yeah. less about your strength, the one that gives birth to you to be a better someone, the one that have your, you know, it's like that, the one that have your destiny to be right in the in the, Liyayi, in the world, yeah. you know. So yeah. each time you eat, people should give food to their strength from your bo- first bite. You know, the first one before you even put it in your mouth. You have to honor your strength like that. And then because they will provide for you and they will protect you. Imagine Amen. there's anything bad in that food. Before you eat it, before you put your own, you will know something will happen. Immediately Amen. you put food down in front of your wish and then you want to go back and eat your food. If something that is dangerous in that food, you won't be able to eat that food that night or that day. Amen. 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 Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Could you talk to us about receiving shrines over through the internet? Is it possible to receive a good shrine through the mail or um something like that from an internet source if just sending it to you from the internet? It's not good to receive uh, through internet, I know people might be listening now, and people may not be listening now. They might be listening to it to, to later. This is the true fact. To my brother and my sister out there, there's not such a thing like that. Even though if Baba come from home, if our elder hear this, they will know I'm telling everybody the true words of it. You cannot receive strength through mail through mailing FedEx or UPS or whatever, how fast is it? If it's overnight, you cannot receive a strike from internet or from mailing. Because I hear some people even get initiation through the line too, through internet. They say I just initiate too. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot receive strike because, you know, you can't shave someone's head when it's not there. The owner of the head is supposed to be participate, and then do <laughs> it has to be physically there, and then do to this. That's a Yoruba proverb. Oh, if I in your lori, you cannot shave someone's head behind him. He has to be there, and then even though this is even defined for like when you receive the hand of Ifa or of Akan, or you are receiving the hand of Oshun or Obatala or Ebe, you have to present. It might be one day. There's no way such a thing to mail Orisha. Okay? Daniel. Adupa, 
And for people who want deeply understand on that, we might talk about that later in another episode and do a, another fast of Ifa and the, what is the story behind that that people cannot receive Ifa or Orisha through, you know, through internet. I do yeah. At this time, Oluwa, I would like to let everyone know um, that we do have available Ishoro Aron Oriki for the Orisha. You can order it for $20 um, through PayPal by visiting our website at www.abalayenifa.org, abalayenifa.org. Or you can also visit Oluwo's uh, MySpace for more information. That is uh, MySpace for backslash abalayenifa. So please um, make sure that you do that. And Oluo also travels in uh, the country um, offering workshops, lectures, and training on traditional Ifa, the protocols, um, and all of the protocol aspects of Ifa. So I did want to let everyone know that. And after this show, starting next week, if you're interested in going more in-depth with our topics, Oluo will make available uh, CDs for $10, $9.99, $9 um, where he will offer in-depth information um, that is not appropriate for the Internet. Um, for the topics. So please know that and make sure that you um, tune in every Tuesday at 9 o'clock or check our archives if you miss us. Thank you. And the call-in number also. The call-in number would be 646-381-4654. And please, listeners, call in and you can get all your questions answered through Oluwo. Oluwo, I have a question. Okay. Please. Um, there are now um, a lot of um, internet, um, not chat groups, they are online groups that are dedicated to um, studying traditional Ifa, studying traditional African religions. And these groups are very significant. People stay, people train, they find their, um, they find their godparents on the internet, and they actually will fight, they'll share information, they share ritual information, informa information um, online. They will share specifics about what goes on during initiations, specifics about what is in someone's oro, this, these kind of things. And they will also fight. Is, is it, I, I don't think that people understand that it's very dangerous. People will curse each other and things really, there are some really negative things happening in these groups that are dedicated to um, studying Ifa. Can you talk to us please about how important it is to actually experience the rituals, not just learn about them or study them, but be present, have your body, those kind of things. Uh, I mean, one thing about information they're sharing with each other on the Internet is not, you know, I can consider that that people trying to show off, you know, Same. because they say empty body will make a noise. Same. Empty body make a noise, Same. you know. The one that have water inside or liquid inside is not making no sense. You know, Same. it's like mm -hmm. a show off of this is what I got. You know, how long you been initiated to you far? My Baba give me this, my Baba give me that. And that thing can be danger to each one of them too because some people must tap into me to know what this guy is working with. What is he has, you know? There's no way, you know, the way we, you know, internet is good in one side and then the other side too is not good. You know, but it's the opportunity that we have in the United States, but we still don't use it right. In among all you, Olori Shao, I'm not saying the technology is not good. The technology is good, you know, and then it's a, you know, it's a beautiful way of us learning very well. But do you know who you're learning from? Do you know who you're giving all your information about your Olori Shao, your Uru, your pot? You know, you don't know them well that way to give all your information to people, you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, when the time to learn well, you just pray to your Uri, that Uri, you know, push you towards someone that is want to teach very well. And then there's not, it's not everybody supposed to be a teacher, or divining Babala, or Yanipa, Akwetebi, all that stuff. You know, a lot of people just claim that immediately they go home, come back, they claim that. And that's not the issue of claiming things, you know. Mm -hmm. That is not the way it's supposed to be. Training is what makes you who you are. Learn your thing very well. 
you know. And the exchange in information on the internet, people have to be careful. You know, organization that talk about someone is good, someone is this, someone is that. What have what have they done yet? You know, mm-hmm. on their own self. You know, yeah. if I, I mean, if I talk before you talk about someone, look at yourself first. Okay. You know, there's okay. a different okay. way that if I talk to us, any word that we say is if I, any word in Yoruba. Even though if it's in English that you can translate into Yoruba, it is Ifa. You know. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, what we you know. Samuel, so no, I certainly do agree with you, sir, because over the Internet, you can't see the person. You don't know who they are. You don't know what color they are. You don't know their eyes. You don't know their character. You don't know, you know, what what negativity they carry, and you link yourself up with them, and like I said, the energy that they carry can can affect you, and it can hurt you. Ben, you. Harm you. Ben, you. Ben. That's definitely, Baba. And Baba, how, so, how should people right. approach, approach Ifa coming home from Ifa from your standpoint? How should they approach it? How do people should approach Ifa? Working with Ifa and yeah, the way people can approach Ifa is like that's what we say about Ifa on the internet. You know, when people learn about that Ifa on the internet, they don't know the protocol. First of all, no protocol. They don't know how to greet people. How to greet Olorisha, how to greet the Olosala. There's a training on that or that if you are a Babalao or a Wifa on training to be a Babalao, you should know how to greet Olorisha, how to greet Apwetebi, how to greet the Oluwo. You should know how to greet Olosala, Onishongo, Yemoja, Oshun, Oya, Olobaluaye, Afo Olodumare. And then Olesu Odara, Olesu, Olobun. All that kind of training, but when people are, you know, tap into the internet, they don't know how to approach, they don't know what to expect when they go to divination, they don't even know how to greet someone, and then they will, they approach Ifa in kind of way like, you know, like a business, like I bring my money, you know, Baba, you know, the way they approach you, you know, but the way to approach Ifa and then the way to learn Ifa is like, um, we have to humble ourselves. And then we have to learn the culture, like I always say this, learn the culture very well and tradition very well, and that will give you a way to know Ifa more, because you have to love Ifa, you know, to know Ifa is to love Ifa very well. Mm-hmm. And then there's no way you're going to love Ifa without loving the culture. You have to, When you love the culture and the tradition, you will fall yeah. in love with Ifa. Yeah. Because Ifa is a father of character, you really talk about that very well, you know. Yeah. So, so that's the way of approaching Ifa is we have to humble ourselves and then we have to chew and swallow before we take another bite mm-hmm. and digest it first. You know, because mm-hmm. when people eat food, let's break it down this way. When people eat food, if it's good food that tastes good, you chew it, you like the food. Wow, this food tastes so good. And then when you swallow the food, and then now the food starting taking its own journey in your stomach to do what it has to do for you in your system, you know? Mm-hmm. So when they give you one information, it's a complete good information. You have to sit with that information and then relax and let that, you know, the information digest. And you you, you bounce around that information too because one word of Ifa, it might last people for a week. If you had someone that really, really, you know, have that kind of knowledge of Oye, you know? Mm-hmm. So that one word of Ifa should last someone at least for a week. Okay. So you're going to be going around that. So going around that word of Ifa, it will give birth to a couple of words of wisdom for Man. you. You know? Man, okay. True, true. I do agree with you on that one also, sir. Um, also, sir, I, I see a lot of people, as you said also, sir, um, they call over the Internet or they call someone over the phone and they don't know of the, the Babala that's working in their behalf, and there's rituals that's done from them, and they're not physically present there, you know, receiving the actual ashe um, directly. Um, how effective is, is, is a ceremony like that, Baba, as opposed to being present with the Babala? Uh, there's a way that that takes control, though. If you're not initiating to any Orisha, 
or you now collect him to his shrine. You can call for divination, and then you can have your able done during phone, you know, on the phone. But there's no, because what they say, the wind cannot blow without touching the tree or the leaves on, on the tree. You know, when the wind blow, everybody know it blow. And then when Babalawa is doing the Aruba, there's a way they're going to do that kind of Aruba if someone is not present. You know, that's another training too. If people are not present, that doesn't mean the prayer cannot get to you. Immediately they know your name and they know your mother's name. You know, that that word, that prayer will get to you. You know, uh -huh. so Sir, that is Leo, different. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have a question. There is a new thing that is happening on the internet where now people really want um, what they think of as traditional ifa. So there is now this movement where people are connecting and going home to initiate to receive traditional shrines, but they're coming back and worshiping them, maybe perhaps Lukumi style, or they're bringing the shrines home and just sort of doing what they want to do to the, with the shrines. Can you talk about, because now that um, Yorba Land is open to us, it's easy mm -hmm. now to find people who know people who can get you home to initiate. Can you talk, and you did talk to us about the importance of having, connecting to our Oluwos, our Ojibona um, there. Can you talk to us about this, receiving traditional shrines and then doing other protocols to the shrine? Yeah, the reason why they're doing it like that, that right now is because they know, immediately they say, my Oluwo is so, so, so in Nigeria. Everybody that goes to them believe they're doing it tradition, okay? Then. That's the weapon they're using now. That's the way of the they confuse people. Mm -hmm. People learn okay. twenty five years or fifteen years of being a Lukumi way or Santaria way. Mm -hmm. I mean and then I hear from a couple of people that whatever they do it works for people. If it works for okay. them they should stick with it and do it right. Okay. But why they already initiate already and then they have to go back home and reinitiate? And then they're going to come back here and do it in form of what they know. Yeah. You know? It's like they're putting costs on top of themselves. Okay. Believe it or not. You already yeah. know where this comes from, and then you see let go your old stuff, you know, that they don't even do it like that back home anymore. Yeah. You know, because it was looked at. It's not like I give them credit, because they try them their best to hold the tradition. I'm not the enemy of nobody, you know. I'm not the enemy yeah. of uh, Santaria or Lukumi. I work with okay. every anybody that need the help from Ifa. If any okay. Babala will call me from Lukumi, if you need the help, Ifa door is open for them. Okay. You know, talking yeah. about Muslim or Christian can come to Ifa and get a rescue from Anumi Labara Bonri. If I don't discriminate. Okay. But okay. when you already found out the resources, the real deal about your religion that you don't know before, you should okay. let go the one that you know is not the way they're doing it back home. You should let okay. go of that. It's not okay. like I'm telling you to let go, but if you know what you are doing, the way your ancestors from uh, Puerto Rico, from uh, Cuba, put it to your palm hand, then stick okay. with that. If okay. it's favoring you like that, stick with it. Stop okay. tapping into internet from home and collect you do and collect this and collect that. Why okay. don't you go to your lineage from Cuba? and learn very well, and stick with it, you know, exactly. it's not right. fight, there's no fight into this, I'm saying this with a peace of mind, with a love, mm -hmm. if your Lukumi, Palo, Santaria is fantastic with you, your things is going well, stick with it, and be good with it, you know, there's no religion that all, no, have no bumps, and then there's no religion that's not going to teach you to be kind, you have to be good with it, whatever power you have, so, Get an initiation in Cuba and go run back to Nigeria and go an initiation and then you say you're doing a tradition. Don't lie on top of your all the elder from home. Do what you know to do that if it's working with you and then if it's working with your Ile or it's working with your Omo, stick with it. Mm -hmm. And then do your thing. But instead of calling behind, sneaking behind and go back home and tell the Odu, recording the Odu from Awo, Tell them to fight, chant the Odu for you, and you come back here and learn that and still doing the Santari and Lukumi. 
That's no good. We talk about this last time that I do the introduction about my show, last show that we did on Tuesday. Yes, be sir. one and be strong of whatever, you know, where you want to be. Yes. And then believe it or not, it's not everybody should be a priest or priestess. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of tolerance. It takes a lot of caring. You have to love yourself. You have to love people like you love yourself. So yes. if you don't have a good character, you are pele. You cannot be a priest. You must be another priest, you know. Man. Because, you know, a couple of priests, they, you know, some people, some priests or priests, all they know is just to do something to people. Then you can people, mm. they, they, they run to them, oh, Mama, oh, someone just offend me from the work. Baba, oh, someone offend me. What can we do to that guy? I want to, they want to make his life miserable. That is not in yeah. the front of Orisha. It's not in the front of Ifa. Then, you know. You cannot pinpoint that someone is your enemy. They know if you have a shrine, they know who that person is. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so when you go home, you go. That's what they use now to confuse people. That's what they use now. But if you didn't, know, I mean, I just say it. If you know you you have enough, why are you saying you're in tradition? Why are you still practicing in Cuba? And then why you why you still have your ifa by the chef, and you you have your uh, it's you all the way far on the ceiling, you know, and then you say your tradition. What is that? And then your issue still inside, indoor. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. issue that I, all your issue is indoor. And then some people have like 13 or the, uh, issue or that are, they have 13 issue. They say this is issue, this guana guana, this is issue, blah, 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 blah. this is issue something. <laughs> my Ulu will don't have 24, my Ulu will don't have 20 issue. Then, they don't have no 20 issue. And in front of our house, we don't have 20 issues. We don't have 20 ogun. Okay? Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's a law. Only it's reality. Know. If we sit down and think about this, mm -hmm. it's reality, man. You know, we should just use our own men kind of thinking to, like, what am I ben. doing? Check yourself. Ben. People have ben. to check ben. themselves. Ben. You know, ben. this is the truth, and then the truth will stay forever. Okay. Actually, another question that I have for you, over the Internet, I mean, there's a lot of emphasis about a lot of learning of Orisha and doing ceremony and things. And, you know, lately there's a lot of information about Ori. Um, my understanding is that Ori is very important, and a lot of people, they put Orisha before Ori, you know, from the information that they study on the Internet. How important is knowing Ori and connecting with Ori on a daily basis to a person's life? Uh, that's another show. We haven't started that yet, but yeah, I will okay. talk a little bit about it because that's another show we have on our agenda, on our yeah. schedule of doing. What okay. is Ori? That's another one, you know? Yeah. So we haven't put that down yet. So Ori yeah. is a powerful Orisha, you know? And then it's supposed to be forced because it's the one that chooses your Orisha for you. It's the one that chooses a destiny for you, you know? Ori has to be the first Orisha. You know, so, but when we start the episode, when we start the uh, the chapter on that one, we're going to talk more about it. And those are the ones that we have a backup, yeah. you know, like Adipa. a backup CD. Adipa. 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 I just want to also, Baba, give an announcement again that you do have a CD that felt that's called Isoto Arun. It's a CD of the Arishis of the Orisha. And for all those that are interested in purchasing it, you can get it at um, www.elayabalayanisa.org, and that would be, Abala would be spelled A-B-A-L-A-Y-E-N-I-S-A.org. Or you can also get it from Olawo's um, MySpace page. And, Baba, if you'd like to give your MySpace page also, that would be a good information and a good source to get the CD from. And the call-in phone number again, Baba. The calling phone number would be 646-381-4664. So you guys are welcome to call and to ask a question. If you have any question concerning what we are doing tonight about Ifa on the Internet, yeah. it's good in one way, it's not good in another way. So you have to know, well, when you get information, that doesn't, know, that doesn't mean you know everything through the Internet. You cannot learn everything through internet by Ifa. You can go to school and study your book on the internet and know everything. 
or Eva is on finish noise. And then when you get it on the internet too, sometimes it's not hundred percent what it is. Yeah. Okay, my brother and sister. So I'm doing this for love. Yeah. So and then I want everybody to have the spiritual ears to listen to this very well. I don't say someone is bad or someone is good or they don't do it right. But if you want to go back home, go back home and reborn and be and and be back home and uh, act like uh, one, you know. Uh, it's not uh, like uh, you have 10 years of look me, you go initiate back home, and then you still want to stick with what you're doing, you know? Yeah. If you know you want to stick with what you're doing, even though if you go home and initiate, if you want to stick with what you're doing, you can stick with it, but it's not saying that my Uluwa is this. Because if if you say that, that your Uluwa is this, we, they want to expect to see you, that you're practicing like your Uluwa. That's okay. what it is. If you want to be practicing like your Ulu, so if people using their name, someone just sitting home, if someone come to him to initiate, to you find that they initiate him, and the guy just get here and starting doing his own magic, they start his own word entirely. It's like dishonor to your own yourself. It's dishonor to your to Ifa and Orisha. If you practicing anything against what the way they show it to you, or some mm. people will just go home. They don't even ask. How to take care of the Orisha. They just go home, initiate, they give them the open offer, they give them the offer, they give them the finding chain in Ruka, Europe. They come here and they start in doing what they want to do. You know? So, but if you already have your Lukumi and Santaria that is working with you, stick with it. Stick with it. You know? That's the, that's the deal about this show today. Stick with whatever you have if it's doing you good. And be good with it. Mm-hmm. Be good with it. Because if someone comes to me about an issue, the way I will approach that issue, it will be different the way they look at me or Santaria will approach the issue. Mm-hmm. But if they, if you go to them, you, they approach the issue and the issue is solved. Stick with it. Okay? okay. That's okay. the deal about it. I'm not doing this issue because of someone going, oh, I'm going to bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Is when you already tell you to do so, you do. Okay? Then, when you already tell you to go, you come. And then, then because like I say on my website that I book you the come on do one bear. It's so money. You have to okay. move closer. You know? I you can say, smell the food oh. from far away. <laughs> you smell the someone cooking from far away and then the cooking is so smelling so good. But how do you gonna know if it tastes good? You have to okay. go to that cooking. What what are you cooking over there? And they're going to say, ah, we're doing some jollof rice or panditinyam with all the goosey for Ifa. I think I will branch out here. I want to taste that. You know, let you take the food and then, oh, wow. It's, it, it, because there's a lot of things that smell so bad that taste good. There's a lot of things that smell so good that doesn't even taste good. Mm-hmm. So that's the Yoruba proof of Aki. So, you know. Okay. Okay. Although I have one question, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, my question is, in America, because we don't have strong, strong Ifa communities, a lot of people really feel like they want to practice Ifa, and they will start to set up altars. They may look online and buy some of the things that they see from an Orisha. They'll pick an Orisha, say, I think I'm Yemoja, I think I'm Chango Kabiesi, and they'll start setting up altars. From a, and this is this is part of the internet ifa um, phenomena that because we're separated out, we will just decide. You know, we can't. We don't have anybody close. We'll just put up an altar. Can you talk to us about what is, is an altar, a shrine, and buying these things from the internet? Is it safe to buy to go online and buy your own? Um, pot, you know, put water in it. Is it safe to go online and and buy the beads and the um, the you know the the decorative things that may make it look like you're a priest? Is it safe to buy those things? If they're, is it safe? Could you talk to us about that, please? To do that is not safe. What is in two way? You know, some people buy that. You know, it's not safe. The why the reason why I say it's not safe. Some people buy it for the, they buy it. They think. They have own shrine, but it's decoration to me. But in another way that is that is give birth to not save or buying that kind of stuff is like you intimidate the Orisha mm. into yourself, into your life, like intimidation. Mm. 
Ben, so if you don't know mm. what is what for you yet, don't do it if you don't know what you are doing, please. But yeah. let's say you go for divination and some Babala, maybe Babala is visiting, like all my elders always do, and then they define for you, they say it's Yemoja, or it's Osho, it's Ozala, mm. it's uh, Sango, Ogu, and then this woman, these people travel back home. You haven't seen them, and then they say, it's my Yemoja, I'm Yemoja. I'm Yemoja, and then you start putting your own item together. No, you can't do that. You have to go to another Awo that you know they know. If you can't get in contact with someone that tells you you're Yemoja, to start in preparing you for your future, for how to be what Yemoja. You have to start and learn about Yemoja. You have to start and learn about Ifa. Then you will going to incorporate that kind of character and the attitude into yourself before you even start in learning and go to your initiation. You know, mm-hmm. so but by buying things on the internet and set up, you calling something else to yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do pray. I do pray. So is it? I do pray. So for people, that, that, thank you, Oliver, for that. When you say you're intimidating. Um, the Orisha, like you're bullying them, trying to force them to come to you. Is that what you mean? Adupa, 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 Adupa. So, for mm. is there ever is there ever any good time? So, for people, because I think people are doing it because they want it so much, and you're telling us that we have to settle down and to be patient. For so, so for someone who loves Ifa Orisha, it may not be their destiny to initiate. What do yeah. what would you tell them? There are a lot of people on the internet saying I'm looking for someone to just help take care of me to help me. What would you say to those people who are not destined to be initiated? Uh, one thing I would say, initiation is different from priest. Everybody is welcome to initiate to Ifa uh, to Orisha. If we know what initiation, where we know what Orisha, okay. But, the, yes. you know, I've been going up back home now. There's a tough ride, a that I've been to. There's a lot of things that I see. But if you not want to, if you not, um, because Orisha and Ifa, they pull in people more than people. Mm-hmm. We are all human beings. They select people. They select people. Who they going to be using for their own mouth? For their own mouth? They're going to select those people. And then if you say, okay, my friend is a Yanifa, my friend is a Oshun priest or Yemoja, I would like to initiate too. You can initiate. But if your destiny is not to be a priest or priestess, don't force the code. You know, do not force that kind of energy. But everybody are welcome to be initiative. But if you don't want to initiate, you can still be around of your babalu Risha in Yanifa to solve your problem for you, to do a rubo for you, to do the body basically. That means you're still living in, in your ancestor kind of way. Man, yeah. We have a couple of people that is not non initiation and Man, then they yeah. really know about Orisha more than some people that initiate. They humble themselves. They live yeah. in it like a, you know, a way of life. Man, yeah, sir. You know? Sir, I just want to make it on that we have six minutes remaining for the show. For callers who want to call in, the number would be 646-381-4664. And again, I just want to reiterate that anyone who's interested in learning more about um, Arisha, there are classes, there are workshops, there's IFA training that's going to be occurring. The information will be um, posted on the website, ileablayanifa.org. We're going to be updating on online class series as well. And all of what you want to get information regarding that, um, I think it would also help our listeners. Yeah, we have a lot of training going on right now. And then, you know, how to learn, how to get into the culture, you know, how to yeah. know who you are. And then basically, you know, the basic foundation is the one that first before someone build the house. So the foundation yeah. is what we need, you know. We don't have to rush ourselves into anything. And then, you know, when we when you make a one step that is strong, you know you're making a step of your of your ancestor. And then you know you're making a step for your future for your children coming up yeah. after us. You know? Yeah. So that's why we have to stick together and stick you know, and stick together and get the right thing to ourselves. Because whatever we do now, I want us to think with love that we're not doing it for ourselves anymore. 
Because mm-hmm. Americans have that kind of mentality, I'm living my life. No. If you're Neolorisha, nobody ever lives his own life. You're living life of your ancestor, and then you're living a life that your children will come and live the same steps that you put down, that you laid down for them. You know? Mm-hmm. So we have a basic kind of training. You know, people can be, we can be doing ourselves for people on the phone, online, you know, and then we have all that kind of stuff. That is, we're mm-hmm. trying to put together. We're trying to search what my brother and sister need in the United States. That's what made me to do the CD, Ishuruonu. And then that is not going to be the end of it. It's going to be beginning because we're still going to come up with the following two. Anyway. Mm-hmm. And then volume three, follow, and to follow that, we, you know, we're going to keep on doing this by the name of Olodumari. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm taking the moment, taking this time to thank all the listeners. People that have been listed from, you know, from South, East, West, and the female and male. I really appreciate this. And then, you know, everybody feel free to go and give a nice comment about the show. And to email us too also to know, you know, to let us know how they really enjoy the show. And then what kind of the area that you guys want us to, you know, touch basic about. You know, because I don't see himself. Man, yeah. I see things, but he cannot see himself. He has Man. to put him right in front of it to see the eyes. So Man, please yeah. make a good comment about the show and then tell us what kind of the area that is left over that we haven't covered yet about my brother and sister out there so we can be strong together. Man. Because I thank you guys that you're listening because if I'm doing the show, if you're not listening, now you're listening, you participate with the show. Whether you call in or you don't call in, you still participating in this show, and then you're making a a good history with Olu Mumbai right now. So I yeah. thank you all. Mudupai. Mudupai, Baba. We thank you, Baba. And again, for those listeners, we thank you for listening to Olu And again, if you need to reach us, you can reach Baba at www.elayablayunita.com. And again, I just want to thank Baba, thank you, Olawo, for the graciousness of your communicating EFA and Internet. Uh, so, and <laughs> the next episode is coming up soon on next All right. Tuesday. I right, see, sir. And you will be having another show, Baba, at the same time next Tuesday? Ben. Ben, yo, sir. Ben, yo, sir. Mm-hmm. And anything that you'd like to chant from your, your, your CD, Baba, to give those an idea of what you saw the room might be consisting of because it is a powerful CD. Ben is a powerful CD. And then the CD we have an issue. Latopa. And then we have Ogun, Shango, Yemaja, Oshun, Obatala, Onumila. So if you have a chance to get a copy, you will love the CD very well because it's additional for your knowledge. Whatever you know before is addition to that. So yeah. that's what I would like to say to you guys. And then I will say a laboru, a laboye, a labozi shell. So yao yeah, we'll mitayo. Thank you very much. Bye bye Thank you. I appreciate Bye-bye. you guys. Thank you, mm-hmm. Baba. Thank you so much for having us. And we look forward to your next show next next one next Tuesday, I'm sorry. At the same time at 9 p.m. Uh, so, Odaro. Odaro, Baba. Hi, it's Jamie, Progressive's Employee of the Month, two months in a row. Leave a message at the... Hi, Jamie. It's me, Jamie. I just had a new idea for our song about the Name Your Price tool. So when it's like, tell us what you want to pay, hey, 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 and the trombone goes, blah, 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 and you say, we'll help you find coverage options to fit your budget. Then we just all do finger snaps while choir goes, savings coming at ya, savings coming at ya. Yes? No? Maybe? Anyway, see your practice tonight. I got new lyrics for the rap break. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law.